Hello everyone, it's your boy Mr. Unlucky Gaming, and we're back again for another video. And uh, today's video, we're gonna be talking about Budokai Tenkaichi 4. So they just dropped an uh, official trailer a day ago. I didn't post a video on this because I wanted to actually draw some speculations on when this game is coming out. That's what this video is about. Now, obviously, we're gonna watch this trailer, and there's gonna be no Pacific release date, but I'm gonna just do a little speculation and see when this game's gonna come out. I'm gonna do a breakdown of everything and um about everything and when i think this game's gonna come out obviously i i don't know for sure i'm not the guy guys th this game could not be coming out for years from now could be coming out this year i have no clue but i'm just gonna draw a little speculation but let's just watch the trailer first and i'll just show you guys what i'm talking about I've never played a Budokai, Budokai game in my life either, so I Budokai Tenkaichi game. I've never played them, so I'm I'm really hoping to actually play this one. Like this this probably was so fun back in the days. It probably still is fun. I just haven't played one. I really just played Dokkan and Legends for most part. I play some fighters sometimes, but I do want to play this game. This part so far. Look at that. That looks so good. That looks so good, like the aura and everything. That looks, I know, okay, let's say that's an E3 trailer. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. I'm gonna just pause right here. Footage, okay, so we're gonna do a breakdown. And like I said, we're gonna just show when this game is probably gonna come out. There's no guarantee, like I said, guys, this is all speculation and theory. This whole video is just speculation and theory, but let's just see what we got so far. So, Toei obviously, Bandai. Bandai's making this, and uh, that's obviously, it's come on, obviously. So, footage shown is under development. That tells me that this game obviously is, uh, it literally says it right there. Footage shown is under development. That means the game, now, it doesn't, so footage shown is under development pretty much means the game is gonna look like that, or hopefully like that, when it comes out. Which is insane. Absolutely insane. Now, there's two trailers to this. This It says Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkishu 4, but... The Japanese is Dragon Ball Z Sparking. It's Sparking, which is... I don't know. I, I don't really care what they call it. It's pretty much going to be Budokai Tenkaichi. There was multiple trailers, so... A new Budokai Tenkaichi begins. So this is the, the Budokai one. This is one that says a new Sparking begins. So I don't know what they're going to call it. I, I, it doesn't really matter. It's a new Dragon Ball game. It's hype, and it's probably going to be fun. Probably like an arena fighter or something. So now we're going to talk about speculation and stuff. So the, obviously this gives nothing. This gives obviously nothing. But the fact that we got a trailer means, a teaser trailer means it's going to come out. Not soon, but it's going to happen. Obviously that's what a trailer means. Now, footage shown is under development. Now I will say, this, this, this does tell me that this game might not be this year. 100% probably not this year because that means they definitely have some stuff to work on if this is not under development If it, it I mean obviously or it's not gonna be the no release date or nothing like that I mean, this is just a teaser trailer. Obviously it says official trailer but it is official teaser trailer It doesn't really show much other than that But I'm gonna be talking about some other games and some release dates first We're gonna talk about fighters now fighters was dropped in e3 this this was dropped in battle hour uh, like yesterday um, and this is fighters so fighters came out the e3 trailer came out in 2017 this is the first trailer now one thing they did show here it says it will be available so like they had like a teaser trailer for this um i think this i think this is the teaser trailer for this so the e3 2017 trailer and will be available for in early 2018 so one difference is from the fighters trailer and then um, this trailer is this trailer obviously has no release date. This seems like this confirmed it already, 2018. Now, Budokai Ten Tenkaichi. I'm assuming when they do these trailers, they don't actually have like you. Don't, they don't make a trailer for a game that's not gonna come out for five, six years from now. I'm assuming this game is gonna come out in the next year or the year after. I don't think it's gonna be five years down the road. That's my theory. And speculation i don't think this game is going to come out five years down the road i think this game will come out really sooner than we think i'm not assuming this year though 
it, it, it is extreme. It is. It is not. It's not impossible that this game doesn't come out by the end of this year. It could come out late December, late November. It, that is that is not out of the realm of impossibility. But I just I just don't see it. Um, but I will say so myself that um. I, I will say so myself that this right here, that th this is gonna be good, man. Like I mean, th th the game looks really good already. So I I don't really know. Uh, like I said, how much they need to work on? I'm assuming it's a decent amount. So, like I said, so for E3 trailer 2017 for Dragon Ball Fighter Z. This was like the latest Dragon Ball game we got. I mean, we have Legend Doka. There's many Dragon Ball games. The Dragon Ball IP is gigantic, guys. It is huge. Now, this is the fighter trailer. I'm not gonna show the fighter trailer, but this just showed everything, all the characters and everything. In fighter Z, this did have a release date, unlike unlike this one. That 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 is that that is one factor I have to say. It already had the consoles that had to be released on it. Everything like we don't have anything, so it is possible it could be two years out from now because we have no information. But I gotta I won't got stretch right now. This is the actual trailer, not the what's called. So this this dropped January 2018. This is fighters right here, January um 26 2018. But guys, actually, we just got the trailer yesterday. Teaser trailer yesterday. I'm assuming what's gonna happen this year, we're gonna probably get another trailer. If the game doesn't come out this year, which is extremely, it's not out of the realm of impossibility, but it's extremely unlikely. I'm, I'm, I'm saying it's like, it's extremely unlikely. Like, it, I don't think this. Come on, footage shown is under development. That means they're still got a lot more work to do. If they're showing this, that means the game is not coming out this year. The fact that it's coming out is good enough, so let's just be happy with that. But it's definitely probably not coming out this year. It's the honest truth, guys. Definitely not this year. Um, it's out of not from. I'm assuming what's gonna happen is we're gonna get another trailer and probably the end of the year. That's just an assumption, but I, I think they're gonna. I don't think they're gonna give us this trailer, teaser trailer, and wait like two years to drop another trailer. I think we're gonna get another trailer probably by the end of the year showing more. This is just a teaser trailer for Battle Hour because it's Dragon Ball Battle Hour. They gotta do something. They always do something for Battle Hour. Um, so they show this here. They'll probably, like I said, we'll probably will get another trailer this year. That is not out of the realm of impossibility. We definitely could. Um, and like I said here, this was the trailer in 2017. I don't know when exactly the teaser trailer came out, but. 2017 and the game came out next year Budokai Tenkichi might be a little bit different what I'm saying is is this game has a high possibility of coming out two years from now or the year after now I did some more research on like other Dragon Ball games usually they do send usually when they do make teaser trailers and trailers the game is mostly finished what I, I've noticed a trend in teaser trailers when they drop they drop a teaser trailer like a year before it only mean in a couple cases they drop the teaser trailer two years before the game comes out that's it's kind of uncommon, but I've noticed a couple of old Dragon Ball games when they drop a teaser trailer. That means they've been working on the game for a decent amount of time. I'm just gonna assume they have been. Uh, like I said, it's all speculation. I'm in theories and stuff, but I'm assuming they have been working on this game for a decent amount of time. They still have a lot more work to do. Like I said, as shown, footage shown is under development, so they still have a lot more work to do. But I I guarantee you that this game is gonna come out by like next year. Or a year after. I just don't see this game coming out three years from now. I don't see it. I don't see it. I, I'm assuming is it coming out a year or two years after this. Um, one thing about um, about these games too, Dragon Ball games, is that they usually, like I said, they, they always make sure the trailer and then drop the next year after. I mean, like I said, Fighters... Fight, fighter, when was Fighters teased? I, I don't, what, this is the actual trailer, but I think it was teased the same year, just earlier on in 2017. I believe. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I believe it was teased earlier on. Because Fighters, fighters is like, well, like, yeah, like five, six years old now. Five or four years old. Um, and like I said, this this is the E3 trailer. I don't know if we'll see more this year for E3 or anything from that, but it, it is very possible. Like I said, this is Dragon Ball Battle Hour. They show something, and this is probably the biggest thing they won the show, and they'll probably will show more. But I don't know. All I gotta say, guys, is that they're obviously getting a new <laughs> Budokai Tenkaichi. Um, I can't. I'm looking forward to play. I definitely will make videos on this, if, especially if you guys want. I never played this game. None of these games. I might actually go back and play the old ones to see how these this new one is. But uh, I do want to eventually play it. And I, I, I will say that this game is, I'm looking forward to it, man. The, 
Him going blue at Cena so far, man. This I, I I gotta say this this is looking good right here. But uh, like I said, guys, I I if I had to assume, if I had to make an assumption, I gotta assume this game's coming out at the year after this year or the next year at most. I I really don't think this game's gonna take three years to make. Like I don't think it's gonna come out in 2026. This game is probably gonna come out in 2024, or 2025. There's no way game takes three years to come out i and i hope i am wrong no i hope i am right too because I, a lot of people as much we want this game to be great but i i can't almost guarantee to be working because th listen we thought this, these games were done a lot of these people that used to play these games thought these games were done i guarantee you they've been working on this game for a while there's no way they just they just started working on this game i just don't find it possible i don't i don't i don't see it a lot of the dragon ball game ips in games they they work on a lot like but that's how every game is. They work on usually a long time beforehand, but then they eventually get to the point where making more. But um, like I said, guys, I I gotta say I'm I'm looking forward to this, man. I'm looking forward to it. I, I've never played a Budokai game, or I haven't played really any of the old games. Thank I Chi, Raging Blast. I played one of them. I forgot which one I played, but I played like the really trash one. It was bad. But I, I'm hoping, looking forward to playing some of these, man. I I will definitely, especially if it has online. Uh, if it, it it should have PVP. The old ones did not. Well, they did have player versus player, but it was obviously land, local base and stuff. Land, like you had to be right next to the person to honestly play against them. But um, this is definitely gonna probably have online and stuff. Have a lot of characters. I'm assuming it's gonna have um when the game comes out, it's gonna have like DLC packs and all that stuff because that's just how games are nowadays. I mean, look at every single game nowadays: Destiny, Fortnite, Call of Duty. There's so many games like this that have battle passes, all that stuff, and you know. Halo, there's so many games out there to have this. So I'm assuming this game probably will have something on that. I mean, look at Dragon Ball Breakers. They have like a battle pass, stuff like that. So this definitely will have some stuff like that. But I don't mind it. I mean, the fact that we're getting a new, a, a, a returning game is great because a lot of the old Dragon Ball games that we have are kind of forgotten. Uh, they're really only focusing on the like most of them. Uh, Xenoverse, Xenoverse 1 and 2 are still great. The, the Xenoverse 3 is still not in the realm of Pets Posse possibility because they're bringing back this game the last budokai game was let's just search it up hold on i'm a, i i don't i don't want it on my location sorry yes let's just see this i want to see like the old game so this is the first one 2005 when's the last one we got let me see search up three this is the last one we got when was this sparking so that's the other name is known to Breaking. Uh, when is the release date for this game? That doesn't really tell me. I just know Budokai is freaking trending. <laughs> yeah, that's all I know. Let's just look at the wiki. Why not? I don't care. Um, two thousand. Okay, really. Two thousand seven. Two thousand. Uh, they were released for Wii in two thousand seven as well. This this is the last Budokai game, guys. Literally 2007 and the latest of 2008. That's nuts. Like, that's insane. It, it's been... What? It's been 10... 15 years, pretty much? So 2007... Wait, two, okay, let's say it's 2008. It's been 15 years because... Yeah. But it's been 16 for 2007. Like, let's say you play this, this here, J Japan, October 4th. Been, it's been 16 years since the last i mean look at this game look how old this looks it's still good i'm not trying to say it looks it's bad i mean it still looks decent but like like look 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 at the matches up they had the game actually still looks fun too they have yajirobi like i don't know man the game they, they haven't had the last budokai tenkaichi game in like 16 15 years so definitely looking forward to that and definitely looking forward to play it besides that guys um that's probably it for the video i really don't want to do any more speculation or anything i really do think that like i said it's coming out in, the, in like the year after this year or two years from now it's i, I don't think this game's gonna take too long to make like i said i'm pretty sure they've been working on this game for a long time now i know games i'd rather a game be um well done then rushed but i i know dragon ball like they they care about the dragon ball ip a lot i do not think they're not gonna they're not gonna rush this game i mean i don't really remember the last 
Dragon Ball game that was extremely rushed. Most of like like Kakarot, I remember when Kakarot came out, like the trail E3 trailer for that, that was hype, but that game was well done when released. They just cut a couple things out of the game. Which is not some people, but I mean the game was still really polished, it looked great and I don't know, it's still good to this day. But um besides that guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think and about um Budokai Tenkaichi four or Dragon Ball Sparking, whatever you want to call it. Let me know what you guys think about in the comments below. And let me know you guys, your guys' theory. Do you guys think it's coming out this year, the year after? Or maybe you guys don't think it's coming out um, in the next couple of years at all. Maybe six, seven years down the road. I'm, I hope and pray it's not, but you never know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Um, leave a like, subscribe if you guys enjoyed, and peace out, guys. You have a good one.